Five Branches of Educational Psychology The field of educational psychology bloomed from the perspective and theories drawn from research and practice. Just as a tree grows branches, the field of educational psychology has distinct branches that approach learning differently. Although each branch or perspective is separate, they all have a common thread of addressing knowledge and understanding. Today, we will discuss five branches of educational psychology, behavioral, cognitive, developmental, social cognitive, and constructivist. Behaviorism is the theoretical perspective in which learning and behavior are described and explained in terms of stimulus-response relationships. The key assumptions of behaviorism are, one, the environment influences behavior. Behaviorists believe that people's behaviors are a result of their interaction with the environment. Specifically, people become conditioned or molded to respond in certain ways based on responses like feedback, praise, and rewards. Learning is described through stimuli and responses. Behaviorists focus on observable events rather than events that occur inside a person's head, such as thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Assumption number three, learning must involve a behavioral change. Theorists believe that learning has not occurred unless an observable change in behavior is observed. Assumption four, learning must occur when stimulus and response occur close together in time. Learners must associate their response with a stimulus, and in order for that to occur, the two must happen in conjunction with each other, or in other words, be contiguous. And finally, animals and humans learn in similar ways. Behaviorists, unlike many other theorists, perform their experiments using animals because they believe the study of animals could explain human learning behavior. The major behaviorists you should be familiar with include John Watson, known as the father of behaviorism, Ivan Pavlov, best known for classical conditioning, B.F. Skinner, known for operant conditioning, and Edward Thorndike, known for the law of effect. The next perspective of educational psychology is the cognitive perspective. Cognitive psychology is the theoretical perspective that focuses on learning based on how people perceive, remember, think, speak, and problem solve. The cognitive perspective differs from the behaviorist perspective in two distinct ways. First, Cognitive psychology acknowledges the existence of internal mental states disregarded by behaviorists. Examples of these states are belief, desire, ideas, motivation, so non-observable states. And second, cognitive psychologists claim memory structures determine how information is perceived, processed, stored, retrieved, and forgotten. Cognitive psychology encompasses perception, categorization, memory, knowledge representation, language, and thinking processes. The major cognitive psychologists you should be familiar with include Jean Piaget, who developed Piaget's theory of cognitive development and stages of cognitive development, Lev Vygotsky, best known for his socio-cultural development theory, Noam Chomsky, referred to as the father of modern linguistics, and Jerome Bruner, who coined the term scaffolding. Our next perspective is the developmental perspective.